Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. Most of the substances we see around us are Option A pure elements Option B mixture Option C impure elements Option D pure compounds The right answer is option B Mixture Most of the substances we see around us are Mixture Question number 2 The method of separation used to separate stone from rice is Option A hand picking Option B winnowing Option C threshing Option D filtration The right answer is option A Hand picking. The method of separation used to separate stone from rice is hand picking. Question number three. A solution of salt in water is a option A homogeneous mixture, option B element, option C compound, option D heterogeneous mixture. The right answer is option A. Homogeneous mixture. A solution of salt in water is a homogeneous mixture. Question number 4. The separation of grains from husk is done by the process of Option A threshing Option B sieving Option C winnowing. Option D hand picking. The right answer is option C. Winnowing. The process of cleaning the grain from the chaff or husk is called winnowing. Question number 5. The property used in separating a mixture of two solids by winnowing is option A difference in size option B attraction by magnet option C difference in weight option D difference in color the right answer is option C difference in weight the property used in separating a mixture of two solids by winnowing is difference in weight. Question number 6. Chalk powder suspension in water can be separated by dash. Option A decantation. Option B condensation. Option C evaporation. Option D filtration. The right answer is option D. Filtration. As chalk is insoluble in water therefore chalk powder suspension in water can be separated by filtration. Question number 7. The process of settling down of particles of a solid in a liquid is Option A sublimation Option B filtration Option C decantation Option D sedimentation The right answer is Option D Sedimentation the process of settling down of particles of a solid in a liquid is sedimentation. Question number 8. A solution of salt is A. Option A compound. Option B homogeneous solution. Option C element. 
Option D Heterogeneous Solution The right answer is Option B Homogeneous Solution A solution of salt and water is a homogeneous solution, as no separate boundary is formed. Question number 9. Which method is used to obtain a pure liquid from a solution? Option A Condensation Option B Loading Option C Distillation Option D Filtration The right answer is Option C. Distillation Distillation is the use to obtain a pure liquid from a solution. Question number 10. The property used to separate components of a mixture by winnowing is, based on. Option A. Attraction by magnet. Option B. Difference is color. Option C. Difference in size. Option D difference in weight. The right answer is option D. Difference in weight. The property used to separate components of a mixture by winnowing is based on difference in weight. Question number 11. The temperature of a saturated solution of sugar in water is raised, by 10 degrees Celsius. Which of these statements is now true? Option A. It will continue to be saturated. Option B. It will become unsaturated. Option C. Whether it remains saturated or becomes unsaturated depends on the amount of water taken. Option D. It will continue to be saturated, but if the temperature is increased beyond 10 degrees Celsius it will become unsaturated. The right answer is option B. It will become unsaturated. These statements, it will become unsaturated is true after raising the temperature, by 10 degrees Celsius. Question number 12. Most of the substance that see around us are. Option A pure solution. Option B element. Option C mixture. Option D compound. The right answer is option C. Mixture. Most of the substance that see around us are mixture. Question number 13. Which of the following can dissolve in water? Option A. Only solids. Option B. Only solid and liquids. Option C solids, liquids, and gases. Option D. Only liquids. The right answer is option C. Solids, liquids, and gases. Solids, liquids, and gases, all can dissolve in water. Question number 14. Sedimentation and decantation are useful to separate. Option A. Immiscible liquids. Option B. Soluble solid from liquid. Option C. Insoluble solid from liquid. Option D. Insoluble solid from a liquid where the solid is heavier than the liquid. The right answer is option C. Insoluble solid from a liquid. Sedimentation and decantation are useful to separate, 
insoluble solid from a liquid. Question number 15. Which of the following kind of solute can be dissolved in water? Option A solid, liquid and gases. Option B only liquid. Option C only solid. Option D only gases. The right answer is option A. Solid, liquid and gases. Solids, liquids, and gases all dissolve in water. Water is a universal solvent. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning, because life never stops teaching.